Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the lecture series of data quality. So, I hope you all are all good. And uh, now today the topic which we are going to cover in data quality is expression transformation. Now, uh, if I talk about what is expression transformation, I believe that we have already done this expression transformation in the data integration. Now, to work in with the expression transformation, I should know what is expression. So, expression is a combination of operands and the operators, right? Now, here, when we are going to use the expression transformation, what we are going to do is we are going to use an expression to transfer my data from the source file to the target file. Based on an expression, my data will be transferred from the source file to the target file. So I need to configure my transformation with an expression using a particular condition. So that condition is going to decide that which data will go fr from my source to the target file. Right now, as we are using the transformation here, every time a transformation is created under a mapping. So what is my first step? My first step is to create a mapping and inside the mapping, I'm going to apply the expression transformation. So let's begin with the practical today. So I let's just, just connect with my repository here. Okay, so I just connect with this. So it's connected, right? I use my folder and in the folder, I'm having a data under the physical data objects and the name of that data is emp underscore data. Let's load this data first of all and see what kind of data it is there. I'll just run the data viewer to see the data. So it's there. This is the data which is there in my file, uh, emp underscore data. I'm going to use this file to create the mapping and the transformation. Okay. So what will be the expression that is going to be based on the column which are there in my source file. So this is my data which, has got, which I'm going to use. So for using the transformation, I'm going to create a mapping. I'll click my folder, right click on my folder, new, and then you have mapping. I give a name to my mapping that is expression underscore mapping. The, the space is not accepted whenever we give a name to a particular object in the data quality. I finish. You can see expression mapping has been created. Now I need to create the objects in this mapping. So the very first task of creating a mapping is to bring the source data. Okay. So what is my source data here? My source data is the AMP underscore data file. I'm going to bring this file on my mapping ID. Now, when I bring this file, it's going to ask me that you want to open this file in the read mode or the write mode. We need to remember one thing that source data in a mapping will always be open in the read mode. So it should always be read. Okay, click on OK. Yeah, so this is done. Now, this is the column values which are present in my uh, source data. So let's just expand it. So done. Next step is to use the transformation. So we are talking about expression transformation. So the transformation which I'm going to use is the expression. So let me bring this expression transformation from the left side on the ID window. So it's there. Okay. Now next task is to connect my source file with the transformation. So what I'll do is I'll bring uh, you select all the ports from the source file using shift and down arrow and drag it, drop it to my expression transformation. So now they are connected well, right? Now the next step is to configure your expression transformation object. For this, I need to select, keep my expression transformation selected, go to my properties at the below, and then I'll go to the ports. Now, why I'm going to the ports, I need to uh, see what are the input ports available in my transformation. So I'm having eight input ports, right? Now, what is the condition? See, I want to add the salary of 
all the rows from jan salary and feb salary and divided by 2 by this i mean i want to find out the average salaries of two months that is jan salary and feb salary for all the employees i want to find out the average salary of all the employees for the two months that is jan and feb so for this i'm going to have an output port output which is going to generate an output so output port here by just adding it i give a port name that is average underscore salary right and keep it as the data type as num decimal because it is going to calculate the values right and i bring this column at the bottom by just clicking on this down arrow okay so it's at the bottom now since the average column is not getting any input from the source so i will make it its input post as inactive done so now it's only the output port output column which is going to generate an output column and the expression will always be created on this output column that is average salary so now what i do is i go to port selectors no changes to be made here then i go to dependencies now here i got get get to see something on the dependencies you can see the inputs ports are available on the right side under the input category and the output port that is average salary whose input port was deactivated by us just now it is available in the output category right i just click on this output port and here you see there's a call uh, drop down i click on this drop down when i click on this drop down i get a pop up window now here i'm going to write the expression okay so i am going to the average sal salary column is going to find out the average of two column values that is jan salary and feb salary for all the employees so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the brackets inside the bracket i'll click on this jan salary two times double click you will get the jan salary i have a plus symbol from my keyboard then i click on this feb salary right i come out of the brackets and divided by 2 okay so this is your jan salary plus feb salary divided by 2 which is your average salary of both the months now this value will be saved in which column that is average salary i just click on validate to see if there is any error or not so it's valid okay i click on okay again right so this is the value of which column that is jan salary and feb salary okay okay so this is done now okay so this is done by us now next what i'm going to do i'll just save this right saving is done now i am going to i'm going to create a file that is my output file for this output file what i'm going to do is i click on this pdo physical data object right click new and i click on pdo physical data object i use a flat object called as flat file data object i click on next then i click on create as empty i click on next deleted file next and then finish so you have the port wizard of the file file data object i just rename it once rename and i keep it as my expression underscore out put okay so this is done so you can see the file name has been changed now i'm going to add the number of columns the output columns in my uh, which is there in my source file so how many columns are there id first name last name age i don't want that jan and feb should come so i can skip jan and feb salary department location So I go back to my this. I click on Add Port ID. It is the same step which we follow in all the transformations. So ID is your number. Then you add a new column. F name. 
a name and then you have your department oh, let's keep it as h h it is again decimal number new department location i'm skipping my chance salary and web salary column or one you can do is like you can just add it also because it's just to verify your output salary fib salary and one column will be your average column so average salary okay uh jan salary would be again a number number fib salary will be number and average salary will also be number Just let me bring this department and column below the fib salary and location column below below the department. Okay, okay. So this perfectly matching with the data. Okay. Now, um, next task is to configure the directory where this file will be saved. So for that, I'll go to advanced, and I mention my target directory here. So my target directory where this output file should be saved is C colon Informatica colon 10.1.1 and then your server slash infra underscore shared and then TGT files. Right. And the output file name should be expression underscore output dot txt. Okay. So this is your path and this is where the files will be saved. Okay. So let me just click on control S so to save these changes. I go back to my mapping. I bring back, back my output full file. So this is my expression underscore output. I want to bring this PDO under the right mode. So it's there. I just expand this. Now I just connect my outputs of transformation with the ports of my file. Okay, so they are done. Okay, so I'll just save this. I right click. I click on validate to check whether the mapping is having any error or not. So it's no problems found. Okay. Now I'll just once run the data viewer of my expression transformation to check whether it is giving the right data or not. So I click on run data viewer. Okay. So you can see that in the data viewer, I'm getting the correct output of my expression. So that means in the average salary, we are getting the average of both Jan and Feb. So 2000 plus 1000 divided by 3 is your 15,000, 1500. 3000 plus 1000 is 4000 divided by 2 is 2000. 7000 plus 1000 averages 4000. 5000 plus 7000 averages 6000. So it's working perfectly fine. And one thing you can understand is if there is any null null column, the average will also be null. Okay. Okay. And well, this is done so let me run this run your mapping okay so mapping has been executed successfully let me go and check my output folder if the file is there or not see informatica 10.1.1 and then your server in underscore shared and then the tgt files expression underscore output so here you go you have the output correctly identified so 10,000 and 10,000, the output is 10. Sorry, 1,000 plus 1,000, the output is 1,000. 5,000 plus 7,000, average is 6,000. So this is how your expression transformation is going to work. And you can, this is just normal expression transformation. 
to get the average you can use any kind of expression to get the data from the source and target based on a condition i hope you understood this lecture if you have any kind of doubts please let me know i'll be there to help you out thank you have a good day